Hello and welcome to Drybox. My name is David and in today's video I will be unboxing and demonstrating our new model of the Drybox Go Mini Projector. So here is the box, we'll just start unboxing it. So there's a foam cover on top, just to protect everything. You get the Drybox Go Projector, which we'll show more detail in a moment. You get a full English user guide and inside there there's all your accessories so you get the power supply which is English you get a HDMI connector and also a tripod which you can screw into the bottom of your projector and use that as a stand we'll show that a bit later on and is the HDMI cable and last but not least there's a remote control so onto the projector itself if you're familiar with our previous projector uh, you've got the navigation buttons and the OK button in the middle You've got a back button, menu button and the power button. On the sides are two USB ports. You've got the power supply and headphone socket and the HD input. Unlike the other projector which was a uh, HDMI output, this one allows you to connect devices to it. So if you have a PC or games console for example, you can plug it into this and um, display on the projector. On the front is an air vent and that's the lens for the projector. There's a focus button and a switch to do the projector off and on and a micro SD slot. On the back is uh, where you'll see the LED indicator for the power. On the bottom there's the screw hole which you can put the stand into. So you simply screw that into place and then you can stand that on the desktop or table anything like that. So what we'll do next is show you the projector up and running. So here is the home screen when you first boot up the Droidbox Go. On here you can access um, commonly used apps such as Kodi, YouTube, Netflix, uh, Twitter and Facebook. On the App Center you can access the Google Play Store and various other apps. On Smart Apps this lists all of the apps that are installed on your Droidbox. So uh, you've got things like the calculator, videos, gallery, uh, code um, and Droidbox Share which is called eShare on here. On the settings screen you can access um, quick shortcuts for various settings. You can also enable the HDMI in through um, the settings here. So what we'll do first of all is just show you a quick demonstration. So this is a movie trailer. Uh, we've muted the sound just because of uh, YouTube um, copyright uh, claims. Um, if you can see any lines on the screen it's just where the camera is out of synchronization with the projector so it's uh, refresh lines. Um, when you're watching it you won't see any lines. So it comes with um, Kodi 14 but you can upgrade it to um, the latest version of Kodi. It supports 1080p playback of um, all your videos so you can watch everything in HD. One of the great things about the new model of Droidbox is it's got a auto keystone correction. So if you're using it on a desk and you point it downwards, it will automatically adjust the screen so it stays square on the screen. So as you can see there, it just readjusted and we could do it again and it readjusts so it's square again. Next we will be showing the HDMI input which you can use to plug in devices such as your PC or laptop or games consoles. To do this you click on the HDMI button and it will now switch over to your input. So here's the laptop, what we'll do is just show you a quick demonstration uh, with YouTube. 
and we can put this full screen and it'll play perfectly fine on there. Oh, he looks familiar. What we'll do next is show you um, an example of a games console. We don't have any in office, so what we will do is show the Droidbox Play On and Eld. So here is my Droidbox Play On. What we'll do is just quickly load the game and um, I'll show you it in action. Thanks for watching this unboxing and demonstration video. You can find out more information about the Droidbox Go Mini Projector in the description below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already.